According to my colleagues across the aisle, these regulations don't matter, but that doesn't mean they're anti-regulation. Republicans want to regulate access to abortions. Republicans want to regulate access to gender-affirming care. Republicans want to regulate books for school children. None of those issues make us safer. Thank you, Chairman. St. Louis and I are here today in defense of strong government relation, uh, regulations that keep the public safe. Republicans claim that regulations slow down the economy and stifle innovation, but it's pure fantasy to expect entire industries to self-regulate without government oversight. Regulations like workplace safety standards enforced by OSHA, environmental protection provisions enforced by the EPA, FDA requirements for food production, all keep our communities safer. A world without regulations will look like asbestos in our schools and workplaces, every corporation dumping chemicals into rivers and unfettered use of child labor, and no safety standards for building construction, for housing, transportation, agriculture, or consumer products. According to my colleagues across the aisle, these regulations don't matter. We have decades of research that proves giant corporations like Walmart, Amazon, Exxon, Microsoft, Monsanto will co cut corners to save a few pennies, all while making their chief executives and their shareholders even more rich. If we rely on these industries to self-regulate, we will undoubtedly end up with more public health crises like oil spills and water contamination. And I'm not willing to pay that price. St. Louis, home to Coldwater Creek and home to Westlake Landfill, we are not willing to pay that price. While these examples are extreme, you may say, the premise is not. Federal regulations and modern and effective regulatory process keeps our communities safer. Regulations keep the financial system strong. They strive to keep drug prices low and health care accessible and affordable. They ensure that people trying to get a good education or buy a home for their families are not defrauded by opportunistic and greedy corporations. Ms. Katzen, can you provide an example of a federal regulation that was rolled back during the Trump administration that has resounding impacts today? Mr. Raskin talked about mountaintop mining, where companies come in and just slice off the top of the mountain and it rolls down and it contaminates the streams and the water supplies for the communities around it. And then I think of coal dust. I mean, there's any number of instances where deregulation and rolling back protections has led to disasters. Thank you for those insights. As you said, there are countless examples of industries and companies failing to self-regulate with catastrophic economic results. This year, the United States experienced its second, third, and fourth largest bank failures in history after banks like the Silicon Valley Bank lobbied to repeal regulations put in place by Dodd-Frank and then failed ca catastrophically. The oil and gas industry pushed for deregulation and lax oversight that contributed to the disastrous BP Deepwater Horizon oil spill, killing 11 people and causing an estimated $65 billion in economic losses. At the urging of industry and referencing standards drafted by the very industry it was supposedly re regulating, former President Trump's Department of Interior rolled back safeguards to prevent another disaster. This is absurd. I will turn it back over to you. Thank you, uh, and I yield back.